Greetings friends and welcome back to my Let's Play of Legacy of the Void. I'm Fwop and I'm a little sick so my voice might sound a little odd, but uh, I think I got this. Alright, so um, my settings were a little screwed up, so we missed the conversation. We missed the conversation wherein Alarak tells Artanis why he's here. Alarak is here. He wants us to help him. Uh, take over the Taldarim in exchange for peace between the Protoss and the Taldarim. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming nice. they do not turn on us first, the Purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to oh, serve. I see. Even now, the divergence of past. This is true. But we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the firstborn to stop the coming oblivion. Alright. Protoss are ready. We've got places to go. Missions to see. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna guess we missed some conversations You here. must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you. Not I. Cats. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> uh, I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. Nice. Cats are being jerks, trying to eat stuff off the table. Pardon moi. Cheese <clears throat> cats. Cheese. Okay. War Council. Talk to uh, me, Lord. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. And we all know Rohana would not get along with Alarak. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Almar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your council has proved influential in some regards. 
Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. <laughs> I said some Not what I said, dude. Arc. Not all. Jeez. Jeez. Hashtag not all, Protoss. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The collar was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it. And when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. This is where we wish that, uh... <clears throat> that we had some XCOM advisors up in here. You know the ones I mean. Hierarch, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, yeah, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulmar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. It's like Kala this in a box. device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. All right. Feeling good about this? Talk with you your feelings. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calgarine speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the archive? Awesome, bro. My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon, and then my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, Know that I believe in you, just and I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Our machine is having a crisis of conscience. All right, so it's time to select our destination point. <clears throat> Uh, okay, what are our choices? India. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. All they right. may have the been Colossus. a forbidden weapon. But I have seen their potential in Phoenix, and know that this time, they will not fail us. Colossus and Uber. Sighting of Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Uh, void rays. Um, 
excellent all around troops. Let's, uh, let's go with the Void Rays. Uh, you can build a pack of Void Rays in a campaign mission that will just annihilate most things. Although the Colossus is so good. Warping in Void Rays is just brutal. Yeah, we've recently started upgrading our air power. We have strong ground troops. Let's, let's take the Void Ray. fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. That is how the dirty bargain goes. That's a quick look at this mission. This is definitely going to be In a In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. All right, so our guess, uh, Gorillas in the Mist, kill one of Malash's guardians while the Terrazine Fog is active, and complete this mission before the fourth Terrazine Fog cycle begins. So we need to catch in the second or third Terrazine Fog cycle, I assume, we're going to have to take out one of these guardians. Um, bonus rewards, plus 20 solarite. It doesn't look like there's any extra solarite to be found. They have some long-range, brutal Tempest ships, it looks like. It looks like, ugh, a lot of capital flying units on their side. Uh, void rays on ours. Hi, Rock. Uh, got nice. more to say. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face me. Oh, I like his confidence. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Yes. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies, aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. Ooh, that does sound worse than a cycle of violence. All right, let's look at what units we Powerful can bring to bear. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. All right, we have a new Annihilator class. The ultra-tough immortal, the deadly Nerezim uh, Shadow Cannon. 
Annihilator. Check and equipped Annihilator. Order me to war. And oh my, oh my, my, my. Attack deal damage to target enemy ground unit and other enemy ground units near it. The Talbarim Vanguard missile bombardment. Okay, so we got an AOE attack, single target damage. Uh, this can attack flying. Uh, I saw a bunch of capital ships in the works. Uh, when we were looking at the mission, so I'm going to bring the Annihilator once more. Um, these guys with their Void Stasis are pretty brutal. The Adif is interesting. What about our Psionic Warriors here? What do we have? De Templari. Classic High Templar. Feedback. Psy Storm. Psionic Storm restores 50 shields to friendly into the target area. Oh my. Only hurts enemies. Wow. And they can merge into Archons. <sighs> wow. Okay. Hard to say no to that. Or the Dark Archon. Mind Control. 10 second cooldown, costs a lot of energy, confusion, forces enemies in the area to attack each other for 10 seconds. Very potent abilities. Use their abilities often. Cassade Templari. They do need a lot of energy. Cassade hmm. Templari. This is a tough one, as As this uh, shield recharging, wall causing psi storms is just incredible. Energy. Feedback is good against a couple different capital ships. Archons are great. This just lets us focus on Dark Templar, I assume. Dark Templar, what merge into this? We don't have to worry about High Templar at all. Um, let's check out the Dark Templar for this. It looks like there's going to be a lot of expensive enemy units. Corsair with their disruption web. And their AoE air attack. Yeah, it does look like a pile of Corsairs are going to be really effective, I think. Robotic support. We've got the Energizer. I think that's a good plan still. That speed boost is crazy. And the pylon ability, we're gonna take the uh, Stargate warp in. Uh, this void stasis is just ridiculous. Yep, Annihilator. Adept, we didn't really get a chance to use them all that well. Uh, the Stalkers are gonna be better against anti air though. And here, I believe the Sentinels are the way to go. Uh, they just get back up, and that's awesome. Alright. Let's move the solar core. The, all this talk in preparation is going to be like the whole episode. From I apologize, but Aside the next one will begin with a mission. There is little deviation. How is and I'll go ahead and release possible? two today because I've been there sick. Have I have been able to keep my own things regular. That set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. 
They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Weird. Alright, so let's look at what we got here. Reset. We want warp harmonization for sure. That leaves us with 115 left. Orbital strike seems pretty good against uh, armored flying units. I think most flying units are armored. Um, and Phoenix will help us with the ground. We'll focus on air units and we'll help drop Phoenix in when we need to. And lastly, uh, I believe starting supply saves us some cash to get up and rolling quickly. Let it be so. Now let's get down to the beginning of the mission and then end the episode. Actually, let's end the episode.